the music stopped, I can never hear. Uh, oh, we've we've started the meeting. We've got it. We are recording, and uh, I'm ex so excited. It's January 18th. Just a couple of days from my own birthday. How exciting! And we're up close and personal without Mike today. I feel like my other half is missing. I'm sure you think so as well. Uh, but he's in a happier place. <laughs> he's uh, not not that he's dead. <laughs> that sounded bad, I guess. But <laughs> he is at his favorite place on earth. I mean, Mr. Disney himself. Um, and uh, so I am excited to come to you this morning. We got a very short team meeting this morning. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Obviously, we have the do not call list. I'm actually really glad that we add this every week to get started with everybody because it is really important that we abide by this as a brokerage. Um, we don't want to be calling people that are on the do not call list. You've heard this over and over again, but maybe this is your first team meeting ever. And uh, if it is, then now you're knowing that you shouldn't be calling people on the do not call list. And if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to us and we can help you make sure that you don't. All right, we have a mission moment. The mission moment, as you know, we have a spotlight. We have Speedy, uh, or we had a certain kind of Speedy for a long time. And Mike put this little funny video of our tortoises up there. But our mission moment is basically every week we have somebody that's a cultural winner. And last week's winner was our very own Brian Stone. <sighs> Brian, hey, be right there. In fact, in fact, Brian is in here right now. Oh, dear Lord, he has something. Brian, come on over here really quick and uh, <laughs> come is join it, me. Is it possible to get this on the camera? Uh, yes, you can Would hold it right up here. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? He brought in. A... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Does it really walk? Yeah, it walks. It you walks, you guys. It's a remote control speedy. It's a remote control speedy. It moves around. <laughs> so, Brian, you nominated somebody this week. Yes. So somebody gets the new remote control. The speedy. new and improved. You know, we're a tech company, Tim, and I felt like <laughs> our, our, our ceramic our should, ceramic speedy wasn't good enough yeah, for a tech yeah, company. We should, we should have a tech enabled turtle. <laughs> a tech enabled turtle. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to pass on the, the first tech enabled speedy. Okay, so this week's culture winner <laughs> is Amy Hunsaker Williams. Yay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So tell us why did you choose Amy? So um, Amy, I think, is a perfect example of our culture. I've had the good fortune of working with her in multiple different facets, um, both uh, through the coaching program um, as another fellow agent and through her interior design and staging work. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you that she is uh, phenomenal and exhibits our culture in everything that she does. I've seen it firsthand in the way that she's talked with my clients and supported me in my business, as well as taking care of her clients. So I, I think she's a great choice. And not much better said than that. That yeah. is really well said. And thank you for the new Speedy. So, Amy, be on the lookout when the next time you're in the office or the next time you see her, yep. make sure she gets that so we can start off the 2022 uh, picture charade. Uh, oh, my gosh. He's, he's waving. He's waving. Mm -hmm. Get that out of here. All right. All right. All right. And I'm wearing my uh, Harry Potter scarf this morning. Um, shout out to all my Gryffindor fans out there. Um, whoop, whoop. And uh, yeah, put in the comment box which house you're from. That would be kind of fun <laughs> this morning. All right. So to keep it fast this morning, obviously we have just me. So we're going to keep it a little shorter, just keeping you up to date on everything that's coming up. Um, man, it is one of the most difficult things in the world to make sure that all the realtors uh, in our company know what's happening and, and what we're doing every week. And so um, we have fuel, we have spark, we have ignite different ways to say it. It's your career. Um, and if you want to take it to the next level, Ignite is the way to do that. Obviously, everything is virtual right now, um, but um, would love to uh, have you there in regards to uh, the learning that you're going to get from Fuel and uh, for, or Fuel Your Career with Spark and Ignite. Um, then we have, we have no um, Tech Tuesday after today, obviously, because of it. And um, so we do have it happening every single day. And um, obviously it's probably one of the most potent, um, important ways for a new agent or an agent that wants to get back to the fundamentals. Um, a lot of times, and actually I almost chose this quote earlier, um, but there are so many sparkly, shiny objects out there that cause us to be distracted from the, the fundamentals of our business. And so getting back to the fundamentals, getting back to a clean state is what Ignite is so good about. 
And so, um, yeah, let's continue. We have Get Recognized. We have the awards night coming up February 11th from 6 p.m. at the Old Glass Place. Um, if you were at uh, the, uh, the Christmas party, that was so much fun there. And so we're going back for the awards. And uh, so I would love for everybody to get recognized for what they've done this last 2021 and uh, heading into 2022, what it's gonna take to beat everybody else. I don't know about you, I'm pretty dang competitive. <laughs> and so that would be really fun. Um, um, Rachel, Nicole, anybody have any comments or uh, anything extra uh, that we need to add there? A lot of background noise. I think we're in the training room, Tim. Um, however, the biggest thing is we'll be sending out a registration so once you get registered, let us know. Um, part of that registration will also let us know any dietary restrictions. So we have that on our radar as well. Uh, but once we get that, we just need to know if you're attending and we'll plan to see you there. Fantastic. Okay. And obviously Mike had put that slide up there for the quarterly taxes 2021 Q4. It's uh, technically today, Tuesday, the 18th. So if you're a procrastinator, it's time, baby. <laughs> So um, I love that we just kept that on there. Um, you know, I would say, I hope that you all have to pay more taxes. <laughs> what? Now, why do I say that? Because that means you made a whole lot more money, right? So that's the whole thing. I remember my coach one time, you know, challenging me to not look at my taxes as such a negative thing that the more, the more money I'm paying in taxes, the more, uh, well, technically be as smart as you can about how to not pay as much back taxes as possible. But I would say if you're making a whole lot more, then that is uh, undoubtedly going to happen. So Ignite 2.0, back to the basics. We already talked about that. There's the QR code if you want to scan that really quick or pick up a flyer if you're in the office. Um, you know what? This is also an opportunity for people that not necessarily are um, uh, fully licensed yet. I would say it's a great in initiation into what it's really going to take to get into real estate and run it like a real business. Because I don't want you guys to be realtors i want you to be business owners all right and then um uh, we were out there for the book in it um obviously we are not having our book in it uh uh party today it was actually scheduled to be today but because of uh virtual things and just wanting to make sure everybody is healthy right now um that would be important as well um and then um rachel did you say that there's um feedback or something like that happening or or was it just in your area I think there's some conversations going on in the training room. Potentially, we can hear some feedback. Um, somebody else must not be muted because it's definitely not happening in here. So it's, it's very quiet. Uh, but yeah, we are going through the Millionaire Real Estate Investor starting off this year. Um, it's probably one of the best books that uh, Keller Williams has ever created. I would say, as personally, it's it's not as much of a favorite to me than the Millionaire Real Estate in, um, Agent. But in regards to the, the life-changing potential for the general public, this is, uh, this is one that I would give as a gift um, as to clients and helping, helping grow investors in your own database. I mean, what's better than that? So uh, that, let's, let's do that. Um, I'm not gonna play the video, but it is family reunion right now. Um, everything right now, our whole focus is from this point till we get started in, um, and actually it's not 39 days anymore, it's less than that. Um, and so, February 19th through the 22nd, um, you might have somebody that you've been talking with, with regards to uh, not just Keller Williams, but taking their business to the next level, other realtor friends of yours that are at other brokerages. This is going to be an incredible way that we would love to have them experience why and what makes Keller Williams the number one brokerage in the world for, uh, for as long as we have been. And it is, a, a, I've never missed a family reunion. And that's a lot of money. If I tallied up all the money that I had spent on uh, going to family reunions, the hotels, the, the tickets, the, uh, the flights and so forth, it would be a lot of money, but that money has been more than well spent. And so I would just say um, the, the quotes, the relationships, what um, uh, vendors you're gonna meet, uh, different tools and tricks and tips that are taught by the best in the world. And so, um, when it comes to making this week's focus family reunion, um, is there anybody on here? I mean, obviously many of you have been to family reunion or um, maybe you've come away from family reunion um, that uh, in fact, I have, you know, Jason Massengale's in here. Um, I would say, how many times have we been to family reunion and come away with something that changed our lives or our businesses? 
um, to a whole nother level, maybe even skip several levels. Um, is Can anybody just jump on here and give a testimony of that? Um, I would love it if, if there's somebody on here that would be willing to share. Um, I see Guy on here. I see Wen there. Um, who else would be willing to share something awesome from Family Reunion that they had received or maybe just even a mindset change? Just for one second, I thought I'd just open it up real quick. Nada? Anybody burning desire to share something this morning? I mean, I'm happy to share it, Tim, if nobody else wants to jump in. Yeah, Brian, go ahead real quick. Uh, so I, I, like you, Tim, I've never missed a family reunion. Um, I've either gone to it uh, digitally when we had to or in person. And um, I would not be a team owner without it, right? So, I mean, actually, you know, starting, starting my real estate journey, I had no idea all of the different ways that you could build a team and that it was not just one way. And so uh, I, I actually, it's my favorite event because you can choose your own adventure and you can pick the breakout sessions that are specific to how you want to build your business. Um, it's how I learned how to do open houses at a high level, which launched really my, my, my business in my first couple of years. Um, you know, seeing Chris Suarez and getting to actually go to a class with him and, and seeing how he did things at a high level. Um, it wasn't just two hours on, on a Sunday. It was a whole process and system. So uh, it was huge for me. Yeah, I, I love that. I, I mean, that mindset shift caused you to become a business owner, right? So there, that enough said, I love that exact thing. Um, if there's anybody else that would like to share, just think that for a second. And Rachel, did you want to pop in at this point and talk about the changes really quick? Yeah. So if you haven't registered, there's still time to register. There is a digital and in-person option. The in-person option, they're probably going to be capping off here soon. They have said a max of 10,000. And as of last week, it was about 9,000. Um, so go ahead and get registered. For those of you that have been to Family Reunion before, it's changing on how they are running Family Reunion. So when you go there in person, previously they would have all of these different breakout sessions and all of these different rooms over across this huge convention center. And it would be a struggle because one, you'd have to know where the locations are, and two, you would have to make it to the breakout fast enough in order to be able to have room to sit in the breakout. And so what they're doing this year is they're calling it a more of a track system. So whenever you register, you'll register as a solo agent, a solo agent with an admin, a team, all of those, maybe leadership as well. And you'll be in that track. So how they're keeping it is in the same room will be all of the breakout sessions. So they're condensing the number of breakouts and the number of panelists. So that way there's not any confusion of having to run to all these different rooms. And there's never the thought of, am I gonna be able to get in the breakout session? So that's why when registering, it's really important to select which ones. Now, let's say you did want to go to a team one and you registered as a solo agent. You're more than welcome to do that. They're just kind of trying to keep it more streamlined for the agents this year. So if you are attending family reunion, that is something to keep in mind uh, when you are attending. Um, Tim, we can't hear you. Can you guys hear me now? Okay, sorry, I just changed something on the in the inside. <laughs> I was trying something and I guess it muted me. But um, thank you, Rachel, I appreciate that. And like what I said earlier, when it comes to um, rubbing shoulders with the best in the industry, we are in a lot of ways, the sum of the five top five people we hang around or in the groups that we um, associate with when it comes to how we operate in our businesses where are we learning to, uh, to have people around us that are already higher than us, right? I mean, when you think about the people that are doing what we are striving to do, when they're actually achieving that at a high level and being surrounded by them, I'm telling you, it's osmosis. You might remember that from high school science, but osmosis is basically, it just, it permeates um, automatically. It kind of the, the, the mixture of what it creates is, is so exciting. And the energy that you come back with a newfound vision, so much, so, so much of it is so important. So we're going to continue on. Um, the LLC update, um, when it comes to an agent, you know, registers their business entity, um, the sole purpose of receiving the real estate commissions from their brokerage, we can pay them through that entity. They must register, have the purpose um, of their entity and bring a certificate of their brokerage 
for our records so that we can pay potentially if you have that LLC or that fictitious business name, we need to be able to have our appropriate stuff in order to pay you appropriately. So that's a cool little update. We want to continue that going into this year, which again, we would love for most of our agents to take advantage of the tax benefits, the security uh, aspect of being incorporated. Um, and then we also have our vendors that like, were all alongside us. Oh, sorry. All right. The next step is after you create your LLC, you need to create an EIN number. So Previously, everyone is assigned a social security number, but you need an EIN number for your business entity. So once you've created your LLC, you can just go on and Google EIN number, and then you can get on there and you register with the IRS for your EIN number, because we'll also need that in order to 1099 the entity uh, for 2022 1099s. Love that. Great addition there. Um, so vendors, do we have anybody on that wants to just jump on real quick and say hello to everybody? Um, we got uh, HSA, we've got USA Mortgage, we've got Onward Services. Um, I'm here. Oh, yay, Tori's hey, here. Hey, everybody. Yep, Tori Hunt with Onward Agent Services. Um, we do transaction coordination, database management, and marketing. So if you guys need any help there, feel free to reach out. Um, but something new we wanted to start every Tuesday is bringing you guys a little bit of value as well to your business. So we're going to do a little Tuesday tip for you. Um, our first tip, you might know this, you might not, um, but if you make this mistake, you don't make it again. Anytime you're entering a listing onto the MLS, do not put the list date on there until you are for sure going live. If you put a list date on there and then add the listing, it will put the date that you entered and not the date that you added the listing. The only person who can correct that is the board. So don't do that if you need any help feel free to call. Awesome. Great, great tip. Um, I see Adam McGrath on there. I see who else is on right now. Hey, and real quick, could I, uh, I actually had a tip that was in the back of my mind. I was wanting to give you guys today. Can I take 15 seconds real quick? How about 10? Can you do awesome, 10? Awesome. Awesome. I can do it. No, so real quick, sometimes I'm still seeing a lot of uh, homes get roofs replaced before the closing. And sometimes the clients forget to tell their insurance agent about that, which could save them a lot of money. So if you have a deal where the roof is getting replaced, it might be worth putting a bug in your client's ear just to remind their insurance agent so that they can get that roof updated, which will save them money on home insurance. Love it. Fantastic. Great tip. Love that. Okay, we're going to continue. Um, we've got a, just a couple events coming up in January. We have the awards going out on the 31st. Um, so if you guys have checked that out, please um, make sure to uh, make sure your numbers are accurate in there. Um, or uh, yeah, it's super cool. I, I love uh, when uh, the, the boards are able to give out the awards like that. And there was a chat. Um, oh. Speaking of the board really quick, Paulina yep. has an announcement for YPN. Paulina, do you wanna hop on? Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, Rachel said I only have 10 seconds, so I have to talk really quick. <laughs> um, so our first YPN meeting is this Thursday um, at the board at 1030. We would love to have all of you guys there. YPN is the Young Professionals Network, and don't confuse young with the age. We accept people of all, of all ages. Um, we're more referring to agents that are newer to business. So we would love to have more Keller Williams agents there. So once again, this Thursday at 1030 at the board, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I am the chair or Cole Porter is the vice, vice chair of the, of the committee. Awesome. Hey, I think that was exactly 10 seconds. Great job, Paulina. <laughs> yes, I did it. <laughs> all right. And then we also have the GSBR calendar. Uh, we got 18th, got the business uh, conference in St. Louis happening. I don't, I doubt many of you are going to be there, obviously, if you're not already there. And then the, um, we got the, yep, all, you can see all this here. Take a screenshot or put these calendared uh, items on there. That would be awesome. Um, and for those of oh. you that um, check your email today, there was an important email that came out from the board today regarding Flex. Um, so they're having major changes to the listing data this Thursday. So there, you could expect outages on the 20th. Um, and there is, it's going to affect the quick search um, review, and it has a little bit of tips, but make sure you go back and look at that email from the board. It's called residential data updates and flex. And it'll have a lot of important updates you need to make sure you check on for this week. Perfect. Do we have Don or Jim on today? 
I didn't see them yet. Are they on? I'm here. I'm here. I will only take 10 seconds. I really don't have much other than communication is key right now, guys. I keep getting phone calls of multiple offer situations, and I don't know what's going on, and I can't get the other agent to call me back. So if you're yeah. on the listening side of that, make sure you're communicating to all of the agents. Make sure, I mean, some of those calls are hard to make, but make sure that you're making them because agent, that's just, it shows bad for all of us. So do your job, guys. It's true. Honestly, it comes down to that golden rule. I do unto others as you would have done unto you, right? I mean, you would really be frustrated if you couldn't get in touch with people. Um, and I know I get in, frustrated when I can't get in touch with people. So please just let's, let's, let's show that all the way around. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Don, for jumping on. And... My quote of the week for you is good work ain't cheap and cheap work ain't good. <laughs> and so um, that's, that's number one uh, quote there for you. And the last part is <clears throat> good is the enemy of great. So let's, let's strive for greatness this week. And uh, obviously we're working remotely as much as possible. Do we have anything else? Are we good? Everything else is great. Um, we don't have tech Tuesday, obviously today because of ignite. So Thank you for attending. Appreciate all of you. Have a great week. Um, if we haven't scheduled some time recently, I'd love to get some time on the calendar with you, um, whether it's via Zoom or, um, or in the office. But I would just say I would love to be utilized by you this week if, if you need anything. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Talk to you later.